Hey, good morning. Thanks for, for joining us today. Uh, today will be our fourth Bible study that goes with the sermon from this past Sunday. And uh, this, this kind of brings it all together. So what, what Paul has done here in chapter 2 is he began in verse 12. And he starts to look at him. He's saying, church, uh, church, I, I want you to work with God for something that's bigger than yourselves. And, and when you work with God, the second thing we talked about is he said, stop, stop grumbling and disputing. It, or, or, or the way I said it, work with God first. Not only work with God, but also, second, stop working against yourselves or against each other. Um, stop grumbling and disputing. Third, today we're going to hear this. Uh, together, together we're unstoppable. So uh, I'm going to read all of the text. And what I want you to listen for is at the end, Paul says, even if it costs me my life, I'm going to rejoice. Like together, man, together church, nothing is going to stop us from doing good kingdom work because we're all in this together. Here's the text, beginning in verse 12, all the way through verse 18. Therefore, my beloved, as you've always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but also in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling because it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or disputing so that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God, without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run or labor in vain. Verse 17, here's today, together we're unstoppable. Even if I am poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrificial offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with you all. Likewise, you also should be glad and rejoice in me, with me. Uh, so uh, here, here's the deal. Paul's looking at him. He says, guys, if it costs me my life to have served you, my life is well spent. And it's going to be a fragrant offering before the Lord God Almighty because you guys are working together without grumbling, without disputing, and God is working in you, and it's going to be amazing out there in the world as you shine the gospel light. So uh, questions for today. Uh, questions for today. First, does, does our attitude, our mind, our life, does it look like somebody who is willing to sacrifice everything for Jesus Christ? Why or why, why, or why not? Second, second question just to think about today are you willing to pour out your life as a drink offering for other believers so that Jesus Christ would be glorified in your life and in theirs? Uh, 